Hi everyone, it's Holly Hanley. Welcome to my studio. Happy Wednesday. Uh, of course, today we're doing the bloom and be happy. So I thought it would be so fun to paint this all with you. So um, we're going to start with a little bit of fur. Okay, so we're going to start with a few colors. I'm going to get, uh, <laughs> I'm going to wait a few minutes for people to pop in. I hope you all had a happy Easter and um, <laughs> hi Cheryl. <laughs> Lovely to have you here. Thank you so much for coming. Again, we're doing the bloom and be happy today. Uh, I really appreciate you all coming in and joining me to paint this. Hi, Deanna. <laughs> Hi, Cheryl. Wonderful to have you here. Hi, Janice. Uh, I thought it would be fun to do this little demo with the bunny. Okay, I'm going to be showing you how, to, how I do like the little bunny fur, which is actually similar to the other bunny that we did not too long ago. Um, we did a little paddle and it was, it was so fun. So, and I'm so happy that, uh, thank you for all the bunny love. <laughs> and I thought it would be so cute to do the little tulip and the cute little ducky. So, um, hi Sharon. <laughs> Hi Janice. Hi Colleen. Thank you so much for coming. Um, again, we're gonna be I'm gonna be showing you how to do this little bunny. And <laughs> I am doing great. It's actually Easter break here, so my kids are both home and I haven't gotten like one thing done. <laughs> so I had all these plans to to uh, paint quite a few things. I have my little book that I do. Um, I always write down like what kind of ideas that I have and I have quite a few ideas in that book and I didn't get a chance to actually paint anything new this week but um, it's been busy. It's been busy. We had Easter of course. Uh, I hope you all had a happy Easter and um, we had a big birthday in our house too. My daughter turned 16 and she went and got her license the first try so she's very excited about that and I gotta tell you it's uh, it's a little scary for me <laughs> but I think I'll get used to it so it'll be good it'll be good uh, no problem I know it's hard with the time change um, I live in Saskatchewan our time doesn't change here but um, I uh, Today, right now it's actually 11 a.m. which is mountain I guess and um, I've been trying to figure out all these different time changes so hopefully it works for you so hi Cindy <laughs> awesome thank you so much for coming okay I'm just waiting a few more for a few more people and then we'll get started I know there was quite a few that uh, that wanted to come but um, and this is off, like this is recorded so I'm going to <laughs> Thank you so much, Sharon. Awesome. Yes, Debbie, you found me. <laughs> um, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to start with the bunny, okay, and we're going to do a little bit of base coating first. Okay, so if you want to get out, these are the first colors that we're going to be starting with, and if you haven't, if you don't have this pattern and you do want it to follow along, it's just on my website. It's hollyhanley.ca. Okay, so you can actually, um, you can go there, it's an e-pattern, you can print it out instantly, which is nice. You don't have to wait for shipping, which sometimes takes forever. So um, it's just an e-pattern on my website, so for this little guy. And we're going to be starting with a few different colors, so if you want to get a little bit of milk chocolate and a little bit of white and some Tuscan red, definitely my favorite red. Okay, we're using all the DecoArt products today. I absolutely love DecoArt. They have all kinds of beautiful colors that, um, that we're going to be using. Okay, they even have some new colors out. You'll have to, you'll have to get those. <laughs> I'm going to be using those in some of my projects coming up. So, um, but for now... Milk chocolate, and again, if you're just watching, that's great. I usually go through through things pretty quickly, but um, you can always go back and rewatch and pause when you need to, and it'll stay on my Facebook page forever. So um, I always tell people if you miss it, if you miss the live, no problem. There actually, if you go to the top of my page under events, there'll be um, a list of past events as well, so you can search through, and it's named Bloom and Be Happy. So. 
I'm going to turn my camera around here in just a minute and we'll get this show on the road. Okay, so one thing that you want to get out first is a couple brushes. These are the Princeton brushes. They're the, my favorite. Uh, I definitely use these in all my projects. They're Lunar Blenders. Okay, so the Lunar Blenders are actually sort of a filbert shape. Um, and they, well, they are a filbert sh or a rounded tip on them, like a filbert, and they have a bristle hair mixed with a soft hair. So, really nice for doing any kind of whimsical, um, dry brushing. I, there's really not one project that I haven't used them in, so I love them. If you haven't tried them yet, you'll have to try them. Okay, and I use them a little differently than some of my other. You know, some people dry brush, I guess, a little differently than I do, which is nice. I always tell people, um, you know, take classes from everyone. You'll learn stuff from everyone that you take from. Or, you know, and I learn I learn things from, from you. So it's, it's great. Um, so tell me where you're watching from and what the weather's like. I always love to hear that. It's actually going to be 18 here today Celsius, which is, I think, around 66 Fahrenheit which is amazing, amazing. I might even put on some shorts, I don't know. <laughs> so it's good, it's a beautiful spring day here. So, um, all right, wonderful, I love to hear that. Please comment, and if you have questions along the way, um, please let me know. I'm gonna be watching my screen here, and um, so that I can try and answer some of these questions here. Okay, so if you have anything, just let me know. All right, okay, let me see here. Sorry, I'm just trying to find the video here so that I can, there we go. Okay, it's on my page. <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm watching the comments here. So if you have, all right, wonderful. Hi, Karen. <laughs> Hi, Carol. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to turn my camera around. I'm really not fancy, so of course, bear with me here. But um, today, okay, so I painted this on a little menu board. This is from Michael's. Okay, it's actually around 8 by 11 or something like that. Okay, and you know, feel free to change the surface that you're painting on. I thought this one was so cute. This is on the back, so I've got the little St. Patty's Day on the back, so it's easy to turn around on my on my counter. I keep it on my kitchen counter, which is nice, uh, but today I thought I would actually um, paint on a bucket. So these little buckets are so cute. They're just like a half bucket. They have like this big um, jute string to hold them and I thought how cute would this be with some tulips in it or something okay so um, this is what I'm painting at on um, I'm sure you can find this different places but I found it at Dollarama in Canada I'm sorry Dollarama is one of my favorite stores because they they just carry so much stuff but it's a cute little bucket because it's flat on the back so it's easy to paint on so this is what I thought I would paint on today I didn't change the pattern as for size I did add a couple like I just sort of uh, drew on some new lettering and again I can always trace that out for you if you're interested um, and I can send it out to you so um, that's pretty pretty easy to do so if you're interested I can I can definitely do that but I thought it would look so cute on a bucket because I already have a menu board so let me know what you're gonna be painting on today all right okay so um, the only thing that I did to this bucket was I put on a little bit of all-purpose sealer and then um, I just base coated with a couple layers of black paint okay so of course uh, allow that paint to dry in between coats and then the little menu board um, when you buy them they're really like a slick chalkboard so I actually don't like painting on that and and to like when you're when you when you're painting and you know you need to fix up a little something because I do that too I make a little mistake and I need to fix it it's better if you base coat it with just the black okay so I usually sand it base coat it with black and I give it a couple layers like and make sure that you get rid of all that chalkboard dust that you sand because uh, you don't want that in your paint of course but so sand it go with the grain okay or um, I guess I you know, with the chalkboard, I'm not sure it would have a grain, but um, I just sanded it lightly, got rid of all the chalkboard dust, and then gave it two coats of black, okay? So, oh, great. <laughs> I'm glad you have the bucket. Okay, so uh, give it two coats of black, uh, let it dry or blow dry, of course, and then you're going to um, 
uh, trace on the pattern with white graphite. Okay, so, and I've got that done here. Again, I'm just painting on this cute little bucket because I couldn't help myself, so I hope you're not upset about that, but... <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna get started. I'm just following along with the instructions. Okay, they're found on my website. Uh, it's just hollyhanley.ca. Okay, and it's an e-packet. So, we will get this show on the road, and I'm gonna try and turn my camera around, but I'm still watching the comments. Hi, Dawn. <laughs> Hi, Brenda. Okay, so, um, again, here we go. And um, it feels so good. I changed my my tablecloth. I cleaned it up. It's all nice and neat. And that's gonna last about five minutes. <laughs> so, <laughs> is anyone else with me? Like, honestly, I uh, and my husband laughs too. So, okay, here we go. I've got all my paint colors out. Um, I'm using the DecoArt Americana paints because they're just my favorite. And I've even got a few tulips out. Okay, it's, I've been at the grocery store and I've been buying all the little plants already because I can't help myself. Spring is here. Okay, so um, I'm going to try and get this so that it's, and I'll, I'll, I'll try and pull in a little closer when I start, but um Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to start with a little bit of slip slapping. Okay, so I always tell people, you know, don't think too much and just have fun and paint with a smile. Honestly, I think that it comes through in your work. So, and uh, what, <laughs> like, what more do you need than a cute little ducky to smile at? So, um, I, that's, I think, one of my favorite parts about this piece. I just couldn't help myself. I thought it was so cute with the little uh, ducky in the, in the tulip. Okay. So, um, we're just going to take that, uh, we've got the three eighths lunar blender. Okay. And we're going to start with a little bit of fur on the bunny. Again, you can see that I, I base coated with black and I traced all the, the graphite lights on. Um, I love to use black backgrounds. I love the contrast and they just look so adorable, I think, with that nice bright color. Okay, so we're going to start with that 3 8 Lunar Blender. This is the Lunar Blender. Again, it has a rounded tip and a little bit of a bristle hair, so it gives you a really nice spring. But I don't use it like a regular, I don't use it like a regular um, dry brush. Okay, I actually wet the brush first. I know that sounds crazy, but um, I like the way that it sort of softens up the bristles. Okay, so I'm just rinsing it out in my basin. I'm going to try and pull up my palette paper so that you can see it here every once in a while. Okay, but um, I've got a couple colors on my on my palette just to get started. Okay, so my brush is nice and wet. Okay, and that's actually going to just soften up the bristles. I'm going to dry it, so tap it on both sides like this. And I've got some milk chocolate. I've also got some white and a little bit of Tuscan red. And actually, I lied. We're going to start with those little ears. We're just going to base coat them just so that they're they look like they're underneath the fur. Okay, so if you have a filbert brush, just a, a regular filbert, okay, sorry, switching gears here, but um, I'm just going to take a little bit of Tuscan Red and a touch of white, and I'm going to base coat the inside of the ears. And of course, I'm using my bucket, so, you know, the ears kind of got cut off, but you're going to base coat the whole pad right in here. So, and this is my favorite, if you have painted with me before, you'll know, this is my favorite, um... This is my favorite pink. Okay, so, and if you have a favorite pink, um, definitely use that. You know, make what, do, use whatever makes you happy. Okay, this makes me happy. So, I'm going to take a little bit of, I wet the brush first. Okay, this is just an 8 filbert. If you have a 10, that's even better. Okay, but um, I'm just going to take a little bit of Tuscan Red, a little touch of white, and that, look, look at the vibrant pink that you get. Like, it's so deep and pretty. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so you're just going to take a little bit of that and you're going to base coat the inside of the little ears. So the little ear pads, I guess. Okay, and you're going to base coat that with this beautiful pink. Okay, um, nothing too fancy. You're just going to give it a coat like this and I'm going to bring this on top of that little rim. Okay, so right in here. 
like this, nothing fancy. Okay, so just give that a coat, like so. Okay, so this is just with the Filbert brush. Um, it's a nice soft brush, okay, and everything in my world is sort of imperfect, so don't worry if your edges are a little softer, they're not so crisp, that's, actually, I really, I really like that, when the edges skip a little bit, that's, that's my favorite, okay, so, whimsical, I call it whimsical, some people call it messy, I don't know, <laughs> it's, uh, whatever, whatever makes you happy, okay, so, um, and again, I'm just using that Tuscan red and a little bit of white, so just a touch of white. And again, hold your brush a little farther down so you have lots of control. Rest your hand, okay? And you're just painting those little ear pads, okay? And this is the same size pattern. I just added different lettering. I just penciled it on with a chalk pencil, okay? But um, you're going to go ahead and paint this on your little chalkboard. Or, you know, let me know what you're painting on. Okay, awesome. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so, and that doesn't cover very well, does it? Okay, again, I always say, like, they kind of go through ugly stages, so don't worry. Um, if it's not exact, it's fine. It's fine. Don't stress. Don't sweat the small stuff. So, okay. So just giving that another quick coat. You can blow dry in between. But you're gonna base coat, you're gonna base coat um, that whole ear pad right in here, okay? And then we just we're just gonna dry brush some little stripes in there because I really wanted it to look like kind of pink cordu corduroy. <laughs> I don't know if you used to wear corduroy pants or you still do. I remember wearing them as a kid. <laughs> but um, yeah, so just base coat those little ears, okay? And um, I'll try and move this up a little bit so that it's. You can see a little better or maybe I'll move my my camera back here okay of course then you can see the edge of my table here okay I don't know I don't know it, hopefully that's okay okay so I'm just gonna leave those dry we might need another coat hi Carol thank you so much for coming okay if you're if you're uh, joining me for the first time I welcome I hope you enjoy it and thank you so much for those who have joined me before and are here again okay so um, again we just base coated those little ear pads they were just with a little bit of Tuscan red and a little touch of white okay my favorite paint because you can get it so nice and deep okay and um, we're just gonna start with that bunny fur here in just a second and uh, maybe actually um, We'll just, I'm gonna blow dry this real quick so I can give it one more coat. Okay. So while you are. Hopefully, hopefully that's not really, really loud for you. Okay, so just taking a little bit more of that Tuscan red, a little touch of white, so I get that nice deep pink. And I'm just giving it a second layer of color. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just, I have some some areas that didn't cover very well at all. Okay, so right in here, Tuscan red, a little touch of white, base coating that, those little ear pads. Okay, so right in here. All right. Okay, nice and bright. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna take, um, we're gonna take that Lunar Blender. Okay, I have the 3 8 Lunar Blender. And I'm just going to do a little bit of base coating. So this little bunny actually is a two-tone bunny. And I, th I thought it would be cute to try that. I haven't actually tried a little two-colored bunny. So, and I thought it turned out so cute. Um, so she's got like a little white, um, it's a little bit lighter color, okay, where her eyes and the muzzle are and then her tummy. Okay, everything else is done a little darker. So it's, I use the base. So again, usually what I do is I base coat kind of with the shadow color and then I add highlight colors on top. Okay, so we're going to start with a milk chocolate and then we're going to lightly 
or gradually build up, just adding more uh, fur strokes. And again, this brush is nice and whimsical. We're not adding really any texture. I know sometimes uh, when I do my little bears, I add a really heavy base coat, but the little bunnies, I just keep them fluffy. So I don't really worry about the texture or anything like that. Okay, so again, um, I'm just starting with a little bit of milk chocolate. I wet the brush first, tap off the excess water. Okay, and we're gonna start with a little bit of milk chocolate. Okay, so it doesn't have to be uh, perfect. We're just, you know, get the, the big thing, get rid of all that water. Okay, so I actually tap it off a couple times. Um, so just on my paper towel, okay, tap it off really nice and flat so that you can really see that water um, coming out of it. Okay, and I always use a paper towel folded in four just because I find it's extra absorbent and gets rid, rid of all that extra water. Okay, and I do. I blend back and forth um, on this palette. Okay, so it basically just kind of evens out your paint, gets rid of the excess like this, and we're going to start, you can start on the ear or wherever you want, okay, but um, just to kind of try it out, we're going to slip slap like this, okay, and this is where I tell people, don't think too much, just have some fun and, you know, pull towards that outside edge, okay? So right in here, you're gonna go every which way like this, okay? And I really try and pull towards that outside edge so our bunny is going to look really fluffy. We want that fluffy bunny. Okay, so right in here. Again, I'm not really using any texture and you know, uh, don't overthink this, just have some fun. Painting should be fun, okay? I think people overthink things way too much these days. Just, you know, get out there and try it, okay? I, you'll be surprised, okay? It always comes together in the end. I, you know, and I always tell people, they go through ugly stages and um, it gets better and better as you go. So, okay, and right in here, like this, okay, so, and you can see, I try and leave a little space kind of in between the sections. So kind of where the graphite lines are, um, you wanna leave a little tiny bit of space. Just, I, I find that it adds a little bit of shadowing, a little bit of depth, a little separation. You can see I have a little tiny bit of black sort of showing here and there, okay? So especially um, between the ear pads and the, the fur, okay? Oh, thank you so much, Robin. Okay, so we're just, um, and especially like right here where we do the chin, between the paw, that kind of stuff. Hi, Vicki. <laughs> Okay, so just going every which way. Um, again, the paint isn't gonna cover like super well, um, but you know, we're gonna keep going. Okay, so right in here, again, slip slap. I'm not gonna go over top of those glasses and I wanna see what color that you pick for your glasses. So I don't know if you noticed, but I started with a Laguna um, color and I thought, you know, that was going to be, I, I never know, like when I draw up a pattern, I never know what it's going to look like in the end, because I always change things. And when you're painting, you get different ideas. And so it's kind of fun for me as a designer, um, just to see where the the line drawing goes. So it's, um, it's they started out with... Um, Laguna colored glasses and then I'm like no you we got to have some lime green in there because it's such a bright spring color so <laughs> oh thank you so much okay so I I changed them to that lime green so and you know everybody has different colors that they love so I want to see what color that you pick you don't have to change I mean you don't have to change them but if you do I I would love to hear what you're gonna what you're gonna use so, okay, so you can see I'm not paying attention too much. It's just kind of every which way like this. So hold your brush on the ferrule, um, every kind of, kind of a slip slap. And I try and pull towards the outside edge. Okay, just so that it has a really fluffy edge like that. We're gonna come right inside those little glasses like so, okay. Right in here, okay, and then also the little, cheek like this okay especially on that little cheek I want you to make it really fluffy 
So pull towards that outside edge. Again, if you go over the glasses a little bit, no problem. Okay, like that. And hopefully all these little graphite lines will disappear if you go over them. If you find that they're really, really, um, <laughs> if they're really dark, you might want to lightly erase over them. But oh yes, Charlotte, that would be so cute to have this on like a little post in your in your garden or like well I'm gonna hang this outside on my patio and it's gonna have some probably some tulips I went or you could put like whatever you want in it I don't know <laughs> a little pot and you know if you don't if you can't find the little half um, bucket you know you could also just paint it on a pot um, I actually have an idea for another pot so I'm excited uh, I just need to get these kids back to school. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so right in here, it's, again, it's Easter break, break here. So the kids are at home and um, sometimes it's hard to get things started when, when they're at home. But, um, okay, I'm just doing all the sort of the darker areas of the bunny. Okay, just every which way. Okay, the little paw is also, okay, right in here. I don't know, did you have a bunny that visited your house? Uh, the favorite candy in our house is Reese's. Reese's bunnies, Reese's pieces, Reese's everything. So, and um, it's terrible because I love those too. <laughs> so, it's kind of funny. Okay, so there's, here's our little bunny. And of course she's kind of giggling that there's this cute little ducky in the tulip. Okay, so... We're just going to base coat by slip slapping every which way, okay, um, like so, okay. This is just with milk chocolate. <laughs> I know, you know, I haven't been to Dollar Store like, uh, or Dollarama lately. I have to pop over there and see what, what new things. I actually picked up one little, one little thing. It's, um, I don't know, do you guys have these? They're like little kids' shovels, but look at this, the painting surface. This would be adorable, like spray paint it. And so this is this is on my, and it's short, so it's cute. It's really cute. Um, so I kind of have that in my little finds. I don't know, my stash, I guess. Okay, um, so who knows? Maybe that'll have something on it, but I just collect things and then, you know, paint them when I have the urge to or find the right design okay so right in here um, we're going to uh, definitely my paint is is wet like I actually this is more of just like a whimsical stroke so I'm really quite using quite a bit of paint um, so just kind of you know we're gonna actually do more of a dry brush after we get this sort of base coated so this is my my very whimsical base coat Okay, so I'm using a little, definitely more paint than I would when I'm kind of adding the highlights. Okay, so just kind of every which way. And it's covering a little bit, definitely a lot more than what we're going to do when we when we highlight. Okay, so this is the bunny's little hand. It's wrapped around the tulip. Okay, so right in there. Again, I'm leaving a slight little space in between the sections. Okay, like so. Um, I think I've got all those little areas based. Okay, and I'm just going back with the um, a little bit of milk chocolate just to kind of deepen a few little spots where it didn't cover very well. Okay, so it doesn't, you know, don't think too much. Just kind of add a few little dashes here and there. Okay, and especially maybe in the middle of that little ear, like so. Okay, so just, this is just kind of like a whimsical base like so okay so this one I had a little bit more space so I put bloom and be happy okay instead of just the little bee so right in here um, usually with that usually with the plastic you can put on um, the all-purpose sealer or you can lots of times I'll spray paint them so the uh, just with like a flat primer um, that usually sticks really well, so it just, I'm going to do some experimenting to see what the, what works the best. Okay, 
So right in here, we've got that little paw. <laughs> it's amazing, like, doesn't this one look bigger than this one? And it's the same pattern, it's so weird. Okay, so we've got all those parts. Um, there's one little section right in here, I forgot. Okay, and then right here, that little cheek. Okay, so that's all with milk chocolate and I'm just using that little 3 8 Lunar Blender. Okay, like so, and feel free to change the color of your bunny <laughs> or anything. It's yours. Feel free to make it your own. Okay, feel free to get creative. I always tell people, get creative. Okay, so, all right. Okay, so this container, I actually just bought at Dollarama. Um, I'm sure you could find this a few different places. I, you know, maybe a garden center near you or maybe Amazon has them. I'll see if I can find them um, and put a link. I, I, I'll see what, ha I'll see what I can find after. If you're not from Canada, I know it's, uh, I find a lot of things at Dollar, Dollarama. So, okay. So there's our base for our cute little bunny. Okay, we're just going to let that dry for a minute. Okay, and maybe what we'll do is we'll add the, the lighter areas of the bunny. Okay, so for the lighter areas, it's actually just with the toffee. Okay, I, <laughs> hi boo. <laughs> okay, we'll have to, um, we'll have to, uh, I'll have to get you some of those cut. I can definitely do that for sure. Just send me a private message for sure. Okay, so we're just, I'm just using a little bit of toffee. Okay, this one is um, a really nice soft kind of beigey color, which actually works great for my little little bunnies. I've used it quite, quite often. And, okay, let me just grab some of that. And, all right. Okay, anybody painting along with me? Or are you watching? Tell me what you're doing, okay? So, we're just gonna take, um, I'm gonna rinse my, I'm gonna rinse my um, Lunar Blender out, okay, like this. And again, um, if I haven't showed you this before, when you rinse it, I set it down flat and then pull towards yourself and it's it'll actually help to pull that paint out, okay? So it's, it's a little bit better when you okay, pull towards yourself, just sort of press lightly, okay? And I'm holding it very flat to the surface, okay? So we're gonna take a little bit of um, toffee, okay? It's such a nice warm color. That's this one right here, okay? Blend back and forth like this. And that just kind of gets rid of, you know, the excess paint so I don't have like and I'm, I'm tapping it off quite a few times so that I don't have any water in my paint. Okay, I really like, you know, nice strong paint, okay? Um, nice and vibrant, so I don't add any water. I don't wanna thin it unless I'm doing a certain technique. Okay, so we're gonna take that and this is gonna be so cute. Okay, so we're gonna add that nice little highlight. So this is the lighter areas. And if you wanna leave a space for her little eye, you sure can. Um, if you wanna go over it, that's totally fine too, and then just trace it on after, okay? But you're just going to go every which way, just kind of slip slapping a little. I'm gonna um, just touch up there a little bit, okay? And then again, when I when I stroke, I know it's so fast, but um, usually what I do is I try and like, here, I'm gonna come in just a little closer, okay? And maybe I can get it at the same angle. Oh, I can't, okay. Sorry, this is the best I can do. Hopefully it's okay. Uh, there, okay. So maybe if I put something under this, just to make it a little bit more upright. Ooh, all right. That works better, okay. Awesome. Okay, so we're just going to take a little bit of that toffee. Again, when I stroke, it's kind of like a little crescent shape, and then I just kind of do it every which way. So I really try and pull towards the outside edges that are a little bit fluffier for our bunny. Okay, so like this, I'm going to come right in close. Again, I'm I'm going to leave just a little space for that little um, line right here for the mouth line. Okay, and if you want to switch to your little quarter inch lunar blender, you can definitely do that because this one's getting a little big for this area, but um, every which way, okay, 
<laughs> awesome. Okay, so like this. Okay, so just adding that little cute little cute little mouth. Okay, so cute. Wouldn't this make a cute little sticker too? Okay, so I went and got some, I did some little stickers and I don't know, I, I don't know if you have like a water bottle that you carry around, but you, my daughter is all about the little stickers on her water bottle and her computer and, and everything. And I got some little ones made. I don't know if I showed you guys, but wouldn't this little bunny be a cute little sticker? Um, I'll have to, I'll have to show you later. But, um, it's got, this is what they look like. I got to show you because they're so cute. <laughs> look at how cute these are. And they're waterproof and UV protected. Like, so they go on a water bottle. <laughs> Aren't they cute? So I think this would be cute with a, a little sticker. I'm going to have to get some more made. But um, so every which way, okay, you're just doing that little slip sloppy kind of thing, okay, on that, her little muzzle, okay, like this, and just around the little muzzle right here, the little nose. I'm going to come up. <laughs> Thanks, Trish. <laughs> I thought they were so cute because, you know, they're kind of like, I don't know. Okay. Um, <laughs> they're funny little gnomes with little sayings. Okay. So um, what I want you to do every once in a while, my, my brush gets a little gummy. Okay. So because there is no water on it, every once in a while, you should rinse it out and just start again. Okay. So you're just going to take a little bit more of that coffee okay and blend back and forth <laughs> oh that's awesome I'm so glad Barbara thank you so much okay so just every which way just kind of adding that highlight color okay in the lighter areas of our cute little bunny here okay and this one I actually didn't give it a name so you'll have to help me name her okay so right in here sorry my big hands in the way but um I'm just going every which way like this, okay, right in here. And I am leaving a little tiny space for where the little line is gonna go for her eyes. But again, if you wanna go over top of that, you can definitely do that, okay? So just go over top, trace it on after, wing it, whatever you wanna do, okay? But um, there's the little eye, okay, <laughs> right in here. Okay, Blossom the Bunny. Oh, that'd be cute. Oh, that'd be cute. Okay, so, and then, of course, the little tummy. Okay, so every which way. Um, and I really am, you know, sort of pressing a little harder on my brush. Just very wispy. Okay, and I'm going around the tulip. Okay, we're going to tiptoe around the tulip. <laughs> okay, like this. All right. And don't. Don't um, forget to leave that little bit of a space underneath the chin just to separate those two sections, okay? So right in here. I know some of you have probably already painted this. Um, there was a few that I saw on Facebook already and they look so cute. So you'll please post your pictures. If you've painted her already or if you're after you paint her, um, I always love to see them. So please tag me. Okay, it's just Holly Hanley Artist is my Facebook, or you can send me a private message. Um, I love to see them there too. So, like so. And if I don't get back to you right away, just, um, you know, send it again. I Sometimes I miss them. I get messages kind of in every, so many different places, it's hard to keep up some days okay right in here so there's our bunny this is uh, officially the ugly stage <laughs> okay again like I always say they go through those ugly stages okay it, right now it's the ugly duckling stage I don't know 
All right, okay, so again, you can use your little three eighths lunar blender or um, whatever you want. Okay, so if you find that it's easier with the quarter inch, you can definitely use that, okay? And these videos are actually, I don't delete them. So um, this will be on my page uh, under past events for as long as Facebook will allow it, I guess. <laughs> Okay, so right in here, I think I got all the lighter spots, but please let me know if I miss something. Um, every once in a while, I, I miss, but um, I, think I, I think I got everything. Okay, so there's our sort of, there's our lighter areas of our bunny. We have so many jackrabbits that live close to us, like in this area. It's, um, it's fun. When you, drive, when you drive by at night, you can see them all out. Okay, so right in here. All right, so there's our little bunny. That's the base. Hopefully that helps a little bit. Okay, and we're gonna, we're just gonna let that dry for a minute. I'm gonna go on to this. I'm gonna base coat the little ducky. Okay, so um, we'll do that and then we'll come back to our bunny in just a minute. Okay, so again, I just base coated with the milk chocolate and then with the toffee. I love those colors. Don't they go well together? Okay, so we're just gonna use those um, and that was with the 3 8 Lunar Blender. Okay, and then this one is going to be with the little 8th inch Lunar Blender. One of my favorites because you can get in all those small little areas. Okay, so again, um, we're gonna do that cute little ducky. Okay, so Again, I like to leave um, a little bit of that black showing. It just helps with shadowing and separation. And uh, it just right around the little duckling, especially around her little head and her cute little wings. Okay, so just um, sort of watch that. And then of course she has that cute little tail. So um, we're going to use white. Okay, so what I did was I base coated the little duckling with some white um, because cad yellow is very transparent. Okay, so you don't want to you can't really just go right to cad yellow or if you do you're gonna need you know a couple hundred coats <laughs> okay so just kind of uh, I'm just gonna use white okay so again same thing uh, with that little eighth inch lunar blender I wet the brush first that just softens up the bristles okay so and you're still gonna have a nice wispy um, wispy you know effect okay but it's always better to just wet the brush first okay and then tap off all the excess water okay so then we're just going to take that white okay like this and we're going to take um that and we're going to do again same sort of idea we're just doing like a little wispy so see how i do that it's just like a wispy little stroke okay like so <laughs> Yeah, she is, thank you, Robin, they, she has quite the eyelashes. I know, they kind of got a little long and out of control. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, it's, I can't help myself and they just, I don't know. Okay, so every which way, especially towards that outside edge, you're going to pull with the, the white. Okay, so this isn't, you're going to see a little bit of black sort of, or gray, I guess, sort of showing here and there because the white's not going to be like super opaque, but it's going to be super cute. Okay, it's going to add a little bit of dimension. So we're just taking that white, and I love the way that you can get like a really wispy kind of um, stroke. And I did that little duck tail like this. So just kind of has like three little sections to it, <laughs> like this. Okay right in here and then pulling out that little duck butt okay <laughs> all right so there's our little duckling it's coming to life um again when we add of course the yellow on top it's going to be so cute so cute okay so right in here like so so there's her cute little tail and then we're going to add the little, this little wing. Okay, so, and I'm leaving a little space in between the head and, okay, you can see I'm leaving that little bit of black showing. Now, if you forget something, um, you know, if you forget to leave a little space in between or go over that graphite line, you can go back with a liner brush um, with a little bit of black, but 
it does look really, you know, it really looks stark. So usually what I do is if you put in that line, wait for it to dry, and then come back with some white strokes right beside it and over top a little bit. Okay, so you kind of want to watch that. Um, so we're just going to add those cute little... Oof, I need my glasses for this part. Okay. <laughs> All right, that's better. Now I can see it. All right, so we're just going to do this little... here okay so just base coating with the white and you again you can see how I base coat I'm leaving a little space in between okay and you can use a round brush for that as well so if you have like a three round or something um, go ahead and use that just to kind of round it off get a nice little yeah the round brush works better okay so sometimes I try I'm lazy and I try and use the same brush but this one definitely works a little bit better okay so there's her cute little foot okay and then I'm gonna go back and add just a little bit in the center here okay so you can see okay so I still left a little space okay see it right here I still left a little space in between those two little sections okay so just again you can use the round brush to do that if you like but there's that little foot okay and then we're going to do you can base coat the little beak with the round brush as well okay so right in here or if you have like a little a little tiny filbert brush you can use that okay like so all right okay so there's our cute little beak on our sleeping little duck okay so this is just with white all right okay and then we're going to do the other little the other like the head and the other little wing okay so that's just with the lunar blender okay just slip slapping pulling up Like so, our sleeping little duckling. So cute. Good morning, Shirley. <laughs> okay, so every which way. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me today. Okay. All right. Okay, so we've got our cute little duck. We've got her cute little cheek there. Okay, so just leaving a little space in between. Okay. For shadowing and like this around that little beak okay so every which way just with that little just with that little um, lunar blender okay so the little eighth inch works great works great okay so like so and then leave a little space around the little the beak Okay, and the little space is not going to be perfect. So sometimes it's going to be a little larger than others, but it's really going to be cute. Okay, and then of course her other little wing is right here. Okay, so we're going to let that dry. We'll come back a little later. Okay, and sometimes I just come back and just add a little touch more white in the highlight spots. Just where, so it'll look, it'll seem a little bit brighter. Okay, all right. Okay. Oh, I noticed they closed the doors on the Tropicana yesterday. Did anyone see that? Anyone go to the the creative painting convention? Oh, kind of sad. I miss those days of going to convention in Vegas. It was so fun. So fun. All right, Kate, so right in here, I just was, I couldn't help myself. I just gave it another quick coat of white just to kind of add a little bit more to that. Okay, so right in here, there's our little duckling. Kate, <laughs> she is 
coming to life already, okay, just with that one little coat, okay. So we're going to go back to our bunny and we're going to add a nice little highlight, okay. So right in here, I'm going to go back to the little 3 8 Lunar Blender, okay. We've got that Lunar Blender. We're going to add that nice little highlight on her ear, okay. So <laughs> we're going to start there. Good place to start. Um, again, I just base coated with milk chocolate. I added the toffee areas. Okay, again, looks true. <laughs> this is the ugly stage. We're gonna add, uh, we did a base coat on the duck with white because um, cad yellow is very transparent. So I put the white on first, kind of a, a primer. Okay, so with that bunny, we're going to highlight and it's going to be with a little bit of milk chocolate, and then we're gonna use toffee, okay? So we're gonna mix those two together. Now, again, I just have my paint out right here. I wet the brush first, tap off the excess water, okay? And we're gonna use that toffee and the milk chocolate, blend back and forth, okay? I'm gonna to have to grab some more toffee, okay? But this is gonna be our first highlight. <laughs> That's cute, yeah, the little quacker. <laughs> okay, so right in here, like so. Okay, so this is um, milk chocolate and a little bit of toffee and we're going to highlight. Okay, so again, make sure that you tap off all the excess water out of your brush. When you lift up your brush, sometimes the water runs down onto the bristles again, so make sure that you get rid of that. Um, I want it to be dry and wispy. Okay, so right in here, this is going to be a little lighter than what we started with, of course, and we're going to highlight with all these little, okay, so strokes every which way. Okay, so this is just with milk chocolate. We've got a little bit of toffee mixed in. Okay, and we're going to highlight our cute little bunny like so. And don't be afraid to pull towards the outside edge. Okay, like this. And they're gonna be real wispy. Okay, it'll skip. Sometimes it'll be a little heavier and um, you wanna kinda, like, don't worry if you get sort of like a blotch. So if you've got a, a heavier stroke, kind of, you know, here and there, all you have to do is actually just work around it. So if you just add more, okay, so we're gonna use, like, let me just get some more milk chocolate here. Okay, so we've got milk chocolate, a little bit of toffee, and see how it just disappears when you add more strokes, okay? And again, I always try and add lots of strokes right at the top, okay? If you find that it's a little bit harder to control, just go back and get rid of a little, little bit of the paint, okay? so. And every time I do this, it's going to be a little different. So if you're, you know, that that's a great thing. You know, everybody has their own kind of techniques and every time you do it, it's, it's like an original piece. Okay, so there's our cute little bunny fur. Again, I've got a few little blotches here and there, but I'm not gonna stress. We're gonna highlight over top those and they're just gonna disappear. Okay, so don't sweat the small stuff. It's all good. Okay, so just highlighting those little ear pads right here, or the, not the ear pad, but the fur around them. Okay, so every which way, like so. Okay, got a little bit around. I don't know, this bucket is noisy, isn't it? <laughs> but it's gonna be so cute. I can't wait. I can't wait to put some tulips in it or something. Okay, so I buy the uh, the fake tulips from Michaels and <laughs> they're so much easier to take care of and they're so colorful. <laughs> like these ones, aren't they pretty? <laughs> so easy to grow. Um, those in my little window boxes and things. Okay, so we've got just on her little hand here. Okay, again, I'm just adding a nice little highlight there. Okay, I'm trying to make this so you can see a little bit better. But um, every which way, we're just highlighting that little bunny. Okay, 
Okay, so like this. Okay, and you can see how the paint is really dry. Like it's very wispy. So I've gotten rid of all the water in my brush. So you kind of want to watch that. Just taking that milk chocolate and the toffee color mixed together. And we're just highlighting. So every which way, like this. Okay, and again, this pattern is just... It's on my website. It's um, www.hollyhanley.ca for Canada. Okay, like that. If you're wondering where it is. All right, and if you have some ideas for me what to paint next, I always love to hear them. Okay. I got a few ideas on the go. All right, so there is my first highlight color, okay? So I know, and I go kind of quickly, but um, again, this, this video will stay on my Facebook page under past events. So in case you want to go back and, and pause it. All right, okay, so there's our first highlight again, still kind of that ugly stage <laughs> but it's gonna be getting better I promise it looks yeah it looks pretty messy right now but it's okay I can deal with it um so we're gonna highlight again just because that was so much fun <laughs> we're gonna do another layer okay so again when you rinse out your brush rinse it out really well okay set it down flat and pull towards yourself okay so this is <laughs> sea otters, cute. <laughs> Hi, Janet. What's the weather like in California? It's probably like just always beautiful there. There was some rain. Okay. Um, all right. So we're going to take a little bit of um, that milk chocolate and toffee again. Okay. We're going to actually just use toffee next, okay? And if you, if you, um, if you find that that's a little bit too bright, just basically add a little touch of milk chocolate, okay? I am with you, Robin. I kill every plant that I buy, pretty much. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> not good. Oh. <laughs> Have you ever? Okay. <laughs> Uh, well, there's lots of people that think I'm a little bit nuts, but that's okay. <laughs> you got to do what makes you happy, right? Okay. So, um, our bunny, we started with a base of milk chocolate. We're just getting gradually lighter. Okay. And again, I leave a little space sort of in between some of the sections just because I love the way that that sort of adds a little bit of shadowing and separation. Okay. So, and again, my bunny looks a little bit more, uh, it looks wider or something because it's on this little cute little bucket, but can't wait to hang this up. Um, this was originally on this cute little menu board and it's around eight by 10 or eight by 11 and it's just from Michael's. So nice little surface. I love it. Okay. So next layer. Um, again, I rinsed out my brush because it does get a little bit gummy every once in a while. Okay. I wet the brush first, tap off all the excess water on my paper towel, and then I'm just going to take a little bit of toffee. I'll see if this is too bright. You know, we're going we're gonna to test it. Um, and if it's too bright, just add a little touch of milk chocolate. Okay. So hi, Yvonne. <laughs> okay. So right in here, every which, okay, we're going to go every which way again. Um, you can start kind of, start right here. Like I always start kind of in the brightest areas, which is kind of at the top of that little bunny ear, top of his head and work down. Cause when, when you first start, that's of course, when you have the most color on your brush and it's the brightest. Okay. So this, this bucket, um, is actually, I was hoping it would be just a little bit taller, but it's not, it's uh, about nine, eight just under nine inches so like eight and a three quarters or something okay so all right we're just taking that little bit of toffee okay like this I'm gonna start right at the top like that and just super wispy okay so make sure that you know get rid of all the water 
in your brush, just kind of stroking every which way like this and we're gonna give them a little highlight. Okay, so this is gonna be, of course, it's it's gonna help the two colors mesh together. Okay, so like we've got these nice bright um, areas like the eyes and the muzzle. So this will kind of pull your bunny together because we're using that same color. So we're gonna use toffee like this. I'm gonna add a little bit every which way and I know this is gonna sound a little strange but um, when you start on your on your brush okay so when you start what you do is you start up off the surface okay so um you're gonna do it in sort of a u stroke so when you do like a fur stroke i start up off the surface and pull every which way like this okay so it's instead of actually starting like this where you start on the surface and pull away and then that way you get those those brush marks like this. You can always tell that I started right here, whereas this stroke, you can't tell where I started because it's the same sort of uh, width at both ends, okay? Now, if your paint does get a little touch scummy, just add a tiny little bit of water. And again, I rest my hand on my pinky, have lots of control, and just kind of every which way, okay, starting up off the surface. And I'm just going super fast. That's why I can't really see where where I start, but that's just kind of like a little tip. Okay, so even when you do like realistic animals, and this brush is great too because you can add, if you want your, your bunny to be even fluffier, you can add a little touch of water to your paint. So it's kind of like when you use your, your liner brush. Okay, hopefully you can see that. But um, just add a little touch of water, and it's kind of like when you use your liner brush, and you can get like a really fluff fluffy little hair marks okay and you can use this for like santa beards and you know um gnomes and girt like you know angels whatever you want you can you can do that so it's really really quite versatile so if you want a little bit more of like a fur stroke um like a realistic animal um you can use this brush for that as well which is awesome okay so so fun Anyway, so if you want a little bit more of a fluff or fur, like individual little strokes, add a touch of water to your paint and you can use it more like a rake brush. Okay, so whatever, whatever you like. I love to see what people decide what they wanna do. Okay, so like this. Okay, so every which way, especially like I, I kinda like to use this a little bit more kinda just, you know, for this end, the last, the last little, um, highlight because it really makes it look nice and fluffy okay so every which way okay don't worry too much you can I always use my little liner brush after and just kind of add a few little strokes okay so like this yeah it's just like a raker yeah um, so it works it works pretty nice it's, it's nice Okay, and I'm gonna get super wispy on the side here, okay? Because I can. I got lots of space right there, so I'm gonna make this bunny like really fluffy. <laughs> Maybe too fluffy. I don't know. Can you get too fluffy? <laughs> okay, so right in here. Like so. And then on the the um, little paw there, she's gonna have a nice little highlight. So just every which way. Okay, once you get the hang of it, it's just, it's fun to do. Like just, you know, don't think too much. Just kind of add that little highlight you want to start. And that, that happens too um, as well when you do, you know, quite a few little animals. You know, the more experience that you have doing them, the easier it gets and the less... You know, the, the less you have to worry, I guess. And sometimes it's nice just to do little practice ones, you know, that you don't have to worry too much exactly what it's gonna look like. Okay, so there's our cute little bunny. She's coming to life, she's quite bright. <laughs> I did a lot of highlight on this one. Okay, and if you do that, you can always go back and just add a little bit of milk chocolate shading. I can I can show you that. Okay, even milk chocolate, well, I'm just gonna grab a little, or, toffee a little touch of white and I'm gonna add just just a couple little strokes here and there okay so finish off this little 
add one more little highlight. Okay, so, and then we're gonna do the, we're gonna do the lighter areas. Okay, so it's kind of blending into the lighter areas a lot more right now, but once we highlight those, though, it'll pop. Okay, so you could play with this guy forever, honestly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know I can get too fluffy. <laughs> I don't know about you, but this spring, um, my, you know, you take things out of your closet, like your spring things, and they're a little tighter than they used to be. <laughs> okay, so we're going to highlight the, the lighter areas on the bunny. Okay, so those are just done with a little bit of, we, we used um, toffee for the base. Okay, and now we're gonna use, we're gonna grab a little bit of light buttermilk, okay? So, we're gonna take toffee and light buttermilk, okay? We're gonna use those together. Okay, so taking a little bit of toffee. My toffee is old. I've had this color forever. Look at, I, I really need to grab a new one because it is getting a little thicker. Um, and we're gonna take a little bit of light buttermilk, just blend those colors together again. When I loaded my brush, uh, I wet the brush first, tapped off all the excess water, okay, and then took toffee and some light buttermilk like this, okay, and this time we're going to highlight those little, areas, okay, right here, like where the little eyes are, okay, and this cute little muzzle, okay, so, Right in here, we're gonna highlight. And this will make it look a little softer, like once we get it all kinda filled in here. Hopefully my hand is not in the way all the time. Okay, like this. Okay, so just taking that light buttermilk and a little bit of toffee and we're highlighting the lighter areas of our bunny. Okay, like so. They're coming to life, right? Okay, still a bit of a hot mess, but you know, it's coming, it's coming together. It's coming together. I have faith. Okay, so right in here, underneath the little eyes. Okay, again, don't leave too much of a space in between the sections or it becomes a little bit overpowering. Okay, so you don't want that to to take away. It's just kind of enough to leave a little tiny space. Okay, and then of course the chin. Okay, her cute little chin. Um, I don't know, maybe you wanna add some teeth to this little bunny. That would be cute too. Okay, so toffee and light buttermilk. We're just doing that cute little tummy right in here. Okay like so and I'm just again I'm leaving a little space in between the chin and the little tummy area or the chest okay just to kind of help separate so pressing on my brush this is like every which way just filling in okay like that all right, that's basically all of those little areas. And now I'm just going to go back with the Just the Light Buttermilk, okay? Give it another layer of color, okay? So just kind of every which way. This is gonna look so much brighter. I didn't rinse my brush. I just actually went right into the Light Buttermilk. I know, crazy, right? Like to live dangerously. <laughs> Okay, so right in here, light buttermilk, just add that little highlight. I love it. Okay, we've got our nice little highlight on those cute little cheeks. Okay, and we're going to add a little cheek color with the Tuscan red and a little bit of white here in just a minute. Okay, so, all right. Thank you so much, Terry. I love the little, I don't know, the little glasses. I just, 
ever since I did some bunnies last year and did little glasses, I just want to put them on everything. So, I don't know. They're so cute. So cute. Okay, so every which way. And again, tell me what color you're going to paint your glasses. I think purple would be cute. There's so many different colors you could use. I I really wanted the the green for spring, so um, I didn't know I wanted that until I kind of painted it. But <laughs> it's funny what what comes to life when you paint things. Okay, so you can see I've got that light buttermilk. All right, she's coming. What do you think? Okay, how's your bunny coming along if you're painting? I know it's hard to comment and paint at the same time, isn't it? Okay, all right, so <laughs> she is so cute. She's coming to life, I think. Okay, you gotta tell them they're cute too, you know, when you're painting things. All right, okay. <laughs> they really do come to life when you actually like you know, paint their little eyes and everything on, but okay. So, and if you want to go even a little touch brighter, you can even just take, um, I, so I did rinse my brush. I just took a little bit of white and blend back and forth and you can put on a final few touches, um, just with that white kind of maybe, I don't know, this got pretty bright. So I don't know if I'm going to do too much. If you want to do a little bit on the tummy and the muzzle, maybe okay, like this, you could definitely, you know, do that. Okay, don't go overboard, because um, otherwise, you, you know, you lose all those colors that you've got, you, you worked so hard to add before. Okay, so, all right, I'm going to leave it. <laughs> I'm probably lying, but, um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I lie a lot when I paint, you know, you kind of say, oh yeah, I'm finished, and then you go back and add like another two layers. Okay, so right in here lower paw get highlighted yes it does thank you so much for adding that okay thank you robin um yes highlight the lower her lower paw right here where she's holding the tulip okay so see i always miss stuff um this i'm just going to take a little bit of the toffee and maybe just a touch of milk chocolate. And I'm just gonna add a little highlight right down here, okay? Just to kind of make this stand out a little bit more. Okay, and then maybe just a little bit of light buttermilk. Okay, so right in here, like this. Much better, thank you, okay. Okay, and then um, if you want, again, if you wanted to add those little, if you wanted to add a few little hairs on the darker areas, okay, uh, you could just take your, your brush and just add a little touch of water and just, you know, add a few little, few little strokes here and there. I know, kind of, you know, just to make it look a little bit fluffier, you could definitely do that. Okay, so... Ugh, it's like, I don't know, you could just keep going layers and layers on this little bunny, but okay, I'm going to quit in a sec. <laughs> All right. Now, if you find that ever your bunny gets a little too chalky, um, you could take a little kind of a wash of milk chocolate. So, you know, I because I did do a lot of the light light color you can wash so you can just take kind of like a glaze of color where I'm just using my angle shader you don't have to do this if your bunny is perfect the way it is just leave it Kate but if you wanted to do like a really kind of light wash of color or float you could add a little bit of that warm milk chocolate back in okay so if you find that you know maybe you wanted to put a little bit more of that there's always ways to like add and tweak and play and I mean it's just never ending but if your highlights got a little bit too bright or not or just you know maybe need a little 
warmth to them. You can wash over that really lightly with the milk chocolate. Like, look at how cute that looks. So pretty. Okay. Just, just as a nice warm kind of look. Okay. So even, even maybe just a little bit, if you wanted to add a little shadow underneath the chin, um, doesn't that look cute? Okay. And it's just the tiniest little bit of color. Okay. So <laughs> right in here. So if you wanted to add like a little float of milk chocolate here and there, um, over some of that fur, it just warms it up and looks so cute. Okay, so, love it, all right. Okay, now we have to add that cute little face. We're going to take um, a little bit of, we're going to take a little bit of Tuscan red and some white. Again, favorite pink. <laughs> That's awesome, Belly. Okay, um, we're going to add those cute little highlights. Uh, on the cheeks. Okay, you can't have a bunny without rosy cheeks I, or bear or anything else. Um, and I used um, I used Tuscan red and a little bit of white just to keep it in that same sort of color family as the tulips and the ear pads. Okay, so it all kind of meshes together. So we're just gonna, I, I like to use the angle shader. I have a 5 8 but you could use a half inch or whatever, whatever you have. Okay, whatever you like to float with. Okay, and we're just going to, I usually what I do is I wet the area first. That just keeps your, your paint sweat a little bit longer so you have more time to mop and to soften. Okay, so we're gonna take a little bit of that. Um, again, I'd never really mix colors together. Uh, I just brush mix, if that makes sense. Okay, I don't actually take, you know, a drop of each and, and mix it, okay? Um, I just brush mix. Every time it's a little different, which is nice. Um, but I'm just taking a little touch of Tuscan red, a little touch of white, okay, and mixing those. Again, if you have a favorite pink that you like to use, um, you can definitely use that, okay. But I wet the area first, and then I'm just going to float a little bit of color on. Now, I find that this gives you a little bit softer look. So what I'm doing is kind of like a, it's like a circular float, so the toe of my brush is pointing in towards the center area and see how my heel of my brush is pivoting around that. Okay, so I'm always keeping the heel towards the outside edge and then I'm using a mop brush. This is the Princeton mop, definitely my favorite. I've tried a lot of different mops um, because you don't lose any hairs with this one. There's never, I, I find that, um, and it's really nice and soft yet it, you can really you can really push that color around, which is nice. Okay, so push it where you want it. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit more pink up here because I want to. <laughs> okay, right in there. Love the rosy cheeks. Okay, um, and then we're going to take a little bit more of that Tuscan red, a little touch of white. Okay, and we're going to add that other little area. Okay, right in here. Again, I just kind of wet it a little bit. And then you can float a little bit of color in over here, like so. Okay, mop to soften. Okay, like this. Honestly, uh, mop brushes are uh, just wonderful. I <laughs> love them so much. I don't know how I paint without a mop. Okay. Now, if you don't like to, if you don't like floating or mopping, I get it. It's like kind of tricky sometimes. You can take just a stippler brush, okay? So if you have a little stippler that you love to use, okay, I use those deer, deer foot stipplers, and you can dry brush, um, you can dry brush a little color on, okay? So all you would do is you take that, a dry stippler, tip it in the paint, so a little bit of red, a little touch of white, okay, rub it like this on your palette, like that, and then take off the excess on a paper towel so that it looks like blush. So see how hard I'm pressing on the brush? Okay, so it should just look like a soft little blush, almost dusty. Okay, that's what it should look like before you go onto your piece. And then sometimes what I do even too is I'll dry brush and I'll, I'll float and you can sort of enhance, the two just complement each other. Like look at how nice that is. So just nice and soft, Kate. 
So whatever technique that you use works, it's totally fine. Okay. All right. So there's our cute little cheeks. Okay. And then we're going to add, of course, those eyes and the nose. Um, while we have those colors out, let's just make in, put in that nose. It's with um, a little bit of Tuscan Red and a little touch of white. Okay, so you're just gonna do little vertical strokes with that round brush, like so. Okay, so right in here. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. Okay, so we're just taking a little bit of Tuscan Red and a little touch of white to put in that cute little nose. Okay, so little vertical strokes. Okay, like this right in here um, for her little nose and this is just with that Tuscan red and a little bit of white okay and we'll let that dry okay because we want to put on some cute little highlights there in just a minute so while that's drying we're just going to paint in the eyes okay so we've got I don't know what brush do we have here <laughs> Are you like me? I have like, all my brushes are laying on my desk uh, in a big pile. So I, again, it's one of those creative messes, right? Create a mess. Um, <laughs> that's more like it. I just create a mess wherever I go. Um, my husband can attest to that. All right, so I've got, I don't know, I have a 10-0. I've got, um, I have a one, one round. That also works great. I, I don't know. Sometimes those really skinny little liner brushes are too small. Okay, we're going to use a little bit of black and we're going to take, we're going to take a little touch of black and we're going to paint in those beautiful little eyelashes. Actually, they're not little at all. Um, I wish I had eyelashes like that. We're going to take um, a little bit of black and we're going to paint them in with a crescent shape, okay, crescent line. So here we go. Um, we're going to add, again, this is my one round. So we're gonna start just with that crescent shape. And you can make her lashes however you want. So I know, I I went overboard. These babies are long. <laughs> Look at how long they are. <laughs> but again, um, I think they're cute. So I made them, I'm gonna make them long uh, again. Okay, so I'm gonna live vicariously through this bunny because I would love to have these line lashes. Okay, so again, just Okay, there's our first step. We're gonna paint in the little crescent shapes, okay, like that. The more rounded they are, the more happy she looks. Okay, so we wanna, wanna you know, kind of have a nice little crescent shape like that. Kind of lost that maybe a little bit. All right, so here we go with the lashes. We're gonna start in the center and again, um, we, uh, we're gonna take that brush and we're gonna have a little bit of a curve to it, okay? So there's our start. And usually what I do is I fill in kind of right at the bottom. Oh, sorry, it's at a bit of an angle, so it's hard to see. But, um, and then I pull outwards like this, and it does skip, There, it's not like a, a nice sharp line. Um, Okay, but it's um, whimsical. <laughs> I'm gonna call it whimsical. Okay, so we've got really nice and thick at the bottom and then gets thinner as you go towards the top. Okay, and you can play. Play around until you get it the way that you like it. Okay, so again, um, what I do is I try and do like, I try and like fill in 
Okay, so instead of doing like a lash here and then a lash here and a lash here, okay, like that, I really try and pull in, or sorry, sorry, press on my brush a little bit more at the at the bottom so it kind of fills in and then they all kind of like, you know, attach like this. Okay, so you want to want to fill it at the bottom. It looks more full um, and it just, I don't know, more, a little bit more natural. Okay, so... <laughs> Yes, <laughs> I take a lot of stuff in when I go traveling. It's hard. I really, I don't know. That's one reason that, um, you know, traveling I find is hard because you don't want to forget anything. You know, you're always worrying about if you have everything. All right, but I mean, the great thing about that is, is if you if you don't have what you need, you can buy it. <laughs> so always nice it's always nice to have new brushes isn't it oh I forgot this one I better buy another one okay okay so right in here just starting with that little eyelash again doing those little lashes they're all pointing kind of curving towards the little ducky that she's looking at okay or smiling okay like that we even have a little couple little lashes at the back here, right, right in there. All right. Okay. So <laughs> there's our cute little bunny lashes. Oh my gosh. I really went out of lots of, lots of long ones here. Okay. And then we're going to highlight our Okay. And then we're going to add on with burnt umber. <laughs> okay, we're going to add the little face or the little mouth line. Okay, so burnt umber and a little touch of black. Okay, right in here. So I just added a tiny little bit of burnt umber. Okay, just so that it's not quite so dark. And then we're going to add her cute little mouth line. Okay, so again, the little mouth line is a little bit broken. Okay, like so. Okay, so lots of little, lots of little lines. Okay, and then this little line right here. Okay, and then of course she has like a little A little dimple. Okay, we need the little dimple. <laughs> okay, <laughs> right in there. I gotta look at this for a second. Make sure it's coming along okay. Sometimes it's hard painting with it so upright. I'm gonna see if I can bring back this. Okay. So we've got our cute little nose. We're gonna add um, a little bit of highlight to the nose. Okay, so we're gonna do that next. Okay, so the little nose has a nice little highlight, again, with a little bit of Tuscan red and a little touch of white. Okay, so right in here. So Tuscan red, a little bit of white, and we're gonna add, I'm just using my little eighth inch Lunar Blender Okay, and I'm adding a little highlight. Okay, pulling a little highlight on her nose. Okay, like this. And then you just kind of keep getting a little bit brighter. Okay, like so. Okay, right in here. <laughs> Okay, I know her like her little eyes look so big, but once we get those little glasses in, it'll be okay. Okay, so Tuscan red, a little bit of white, and we're gonna pull even, I'm gonna add just a little bit more color from the bottom of her nose because it didn't cover quite as well as I wanted. All right, okay, and then of course we've got a few little uh, whiskers. You can use a little touch of white for that. Okay, so, and you can make them a little bit kind of crooked if you want. Just kind of, you know, like that. My bunnies are always a little frazzled. <laughs> OK, 
Alright, so right in here, like this. Okay. Right in there. Okay. Like so. And then we're going to paint those little glasses in. Okay, so the glasses actually, I started, you know, when I first started it, I was like thinking that I wanted Laguna colored glasses. But then I added the green accents because you can still see the Laguna in there and it, I think it looks so cute. So I'm just using a round brush and I'm going to paint those in and this is going to change the face a little bit too because right now it just looks a little funny with them without them painted. Okay, so I'm just using that. <laughs> yeah, it's hard being this cute, hey? Bunny, poor bunny. Okay, so... Um, I'm just painting this in with a little bit of Laguna. I'm using my round brush. So if you have a larger round brush that you like to use, um, definitely go ahead and use that. Whatever you want. Whatever you find the easiest. Okay, but um, I just thought the green accents on top of the Laguna looks so cute. So this is what I base coated with. And you can still see them sort of here and there. See this color here and there. Like this. Okay, so I'm just painting that in. Okay, so right in here. Like so. Okay, so look at <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you want to leave your glasses with the, the Laguna. I don't know. They're so cute with this color, but I just, I don't know, I really like the little bit of green. Because when I when I did the green stems on the tulips, I was like, oh, that looks so cute with this project. So I just wanted to add a little bit more green here and there. But, um, or maybe you want to add the bloom letters in green. I don't know. I don't know. It's so hard deciding things. Okay, I know, rough life I have, hey? <laughs> oh, okay. Everybody's doing okay? Again, thank you so much for, for joining me to paint this little bunny. I hope you're enjoying it. Okay, and if you have other ideas of what you'd like to see, just comment. I'm going to do a little flower demo um, of all the different flowers. Okay, just one way to paint them. And I got some other ideas of projects coming up. So as soon as our spring... Our Easter break is over. I'm going to get back to painting a little bit more. I find it hard with the kids at home because just when you get started, then they need, they need something. Okay. Sorry, I'm just trying to paint these in. I know. I sh All right, Frankenstein. Yes, that would be good. I know. I'm itching to paint some Halloween. Itching. I have I have one winter project that I, I really need to get out of my head first and then <laughs> um, so I'm working on that and then I'll start with um, got a couple more little spring ones or summer ones and then I've got some Halloween things I just I have so much to do I'm gonna have to live till I'm 190. Okay, to get all this stuff done. All right, so kind of there's the glasses started. Okay, just, uh, <laughs> Fran, I know, I've been thinking about that too, a little hedgehog. And it's funny, every time I say hedgehog, there's always videos that pop up of cute little adorable hedgehogs that in my Facebook feed. I don't know about you, but does that happen? You talk about something and then all of a sudden it just appears in your feed. My phone just listens to me. Okay. So cute. Look at how cute that is. All right. And then we need the center part of the glasses. Okay. So right in here. I forgot to trace that on. <laughs> all right. Yes. I know. I don't. I, I do enjoy 
having the kids at home for sure. All right. Yes, they sure grew up in a flash. It's amazing. I can't even believe my daughter's 16. It's crazy. Crazy. Okay. So I've just base coated those little glasses. Um, they're not perfect. I should have probably taken a little bit more care in, <laughs> in those, but we're going to highlight them. Okay, so with the greens, and they're never exactly perfect, are they? Okay, so here's our cute little glasses. We've got them with the, this is just with the Laguna. Okay, again, I gave it a couple coats. That was just with the larger round brush. Okay, so right in there, we've got these things flying all over the place. Okay, so we'll let those dry, and I'm going to work on the first layer of the, the, the tulip. Okay, so for the tulip, I want you to take um, your filbert brush. Okay, so this is the filbert, and we're going to use a little bit of Tuscan red and a little bit of white. So what I did was I took the Tuscan, okay, and I started just at the bottom, and then I pulled in a little bit of white. Okay, so this is how I did it. I took Tuscan right here. You're going to pull up from that little duckling like this, and we're going to do this again. So don't worry. This is kind of our practice layer. So again, leave a little space. So I'm just pulling the strokes outwards with the red. Okay, and I'm only doing one petal at a time. Okay, so right in here, and then I'm going to take a little touch of white. So I, I'm just taking my brush, and I'm going to tip into the white. So this is my 8 filbert. If you have a 10, that's great. 2 or whatever you got. And then we're going to take that color and just pull in like this. Blending into that. Tuscan red that we just put on okay so that's still wet we're doing like a wet on wet technique okay and again don't worry it's going to look kind of scary <laughs> at first but it'll get better okay so there's there's my first layer okay I promise you it does get better and with the second layer okay so you just kind of brush back and forth like this and it just kind of blends those colors together Okay, so then you just sort of tip, pulling those little highlights. So it's kind of fun, and it's so light of a stroke. I'm hardly pressing on my brush. Okay, so just sort of pulling in and just sort of pendulum back and forth to, to blend those colors together. Okay, so, and again, feel free to change the color of your tulip. Um, I think that would be, there's lots of different colors that you could use. Okay, so again, I'm just starting, I didn't rinse my brush, I'm just taking that Tuscan Red, okay, right beside the little duck, okay, and, and then I'm going to, I come about halfway up, I don't know, can you see that okay? Is it showing? Okay, so I'm just pressing on my brush, pulling that color, and then I'm going to tip into the white. So I've just got a little bit on white on my brush, and I'm going to pull in to the flower. Like, oh, that looks so pretty, doesn't it? Okay, and then just kind of blend by pulling back and forth. And again, don't worry, you know, if it's looks a little scary, it's all it's all fine. It's all part of the process. <laughs> okay, it's gonna get it's gonna get better. Okay, this is just our, our practice layer. Okay, so think of it as a practice. It doesn't have to be perfect, so don't stress out of stress over anything. Okay, so just every which way, or sorry, like up and down, like this, just pulling that. Sometimes I can't talk and paint at the same time, so please forgive me. <laughs> okay like that. All right. Okay. So there is another petal. Like, isn't it pretty? And it has like some, some brush marks in it, but it just, I don't know, kind of adds to it, I think. Okay. So then we're going to do this one here at the bottom like that. I'm going to paint in 
like this. And I'm going to try and leave that little graphite line showing a little bit so that there's a little separation in between that. Okay, um, just tipping into the white. Okay, like so. And then this, this whole part right here is just going to be lighter. Okay, so right in here. And then we're going to dry brush just a couple little, we're going to dry brush a couple little highlights on this as well. So, but this is just to kind of give you an idea of how to get this started here. Okay, so just starting with that kind of practice layer. So I just used Tuscan Red. Okay, and again, I'm just sort of pulling at the bottom like this on this little petal. Okay, this little duckling is laying on top of. So cute. How can you not love a little duckling? Okay, um, and then right in here, just taking a little bit of white and just sort of blending it in. Okay, so this time I'm just stroking back and forth horizontally. Okay, like that. Okay, to add that nice little highlight. I'm sorry, I kind of have to hold that so I can see it <laughs> when I paint it. But, um, and then you're just gonna finish off that last little petal. Okay, with Tuscan Red, like this. I'm just gonna kind of pull into the little duckling here. I know it's kind of backwards, but. And then take a little touch of white and just, again, sort of highlight by pulling into the red. Okay, so like this. And it, you know, if you find that it's tricky, just, um, I don't know if you, if you have ever tried these. These are so handy to have, and I should order some of these, but um, this, is, this is just like a lunar mop, it's called. And they're a little smaller, and they are a little bit, um, I guess a little stiffer mop brush. And I use them often for for blending color and I they're really quite handy so they sort of push the the color around a little bit more um, but this had already dried um, so there if you have a chance grab one of those they're awesome okay so little lunar mops um, but basically that's our this is our practice so no oh. and again don't worry if it's not exactly perfect the that's that's why we do two layers okay so um we're just gonna do that little ducky okay <laughs> thanks for sticking with me i know there's um <laughs> there's always lots going on on facebook and life and everything so i uh thank you so much for joining me okay so this is just cad yellow we're gonna go over this cute little duck okay um and cad yellow of course is a really quite a transparent color so I did the base coat with white first. We did, if you're just joining now, okay, what we did was we just slip slapped with a little bit of white over that cute little duck. And it works kind of like a primer. So that's our base. And now we're gonna go over with um, cad yellow. And we're also gonna use some bright orange. Okay, such a nice bright color. Okay, so we're gonna use some of that. Give it a good shake. And also some white. Okay, so for these, this little duckling. Okay, <laughs> thank you so much. Okay, um, we're gonna take that cad yellow, we're gonna go over top and we're going to slip slap the color on. Okay, so look, I love how it just comes to life, don't you think? Like it's just so fun. And no, I don't get out much, so it makes me happy. <laughs> okay, I know. Painting makes me happy. It's my happy place. But look at how cute it is. I love cute. So fun. Okay. You gotta do more of what makes you happy. Okay. So this little duckling, um, again, I'm just going over with the cad yellow. Okay. She's got this cute little duckling tail. Uh, this is with cad yellow over the white. Okay. <laughs> right in here where um, I'm just going over top of that little wing okay the little wing okay 
And then, of course, the little head on the duckling. Okay, and of course, they've got like this little, I added bangs or some, I don't know, what do you call it? <laughs> Whatever that might be. But he's got a little tuft of hair on his head. Okay, so right in here. Okay, like this. And little cute little cheeks. And then, of course, the other little wing. Okay, so. All right. Okay, so there's our little duckling. Um, again, I just took a little touch more of the, the cad yellow and just added a little bit more color. And then you can take even, even just dip your brush like this and just dip your brush into a little bit of uh, bright orange and this is what we're going to add we're just going to add a little bit because it's so transparent and it just looks so cute to kind of warm up our little duck um or a duckling right in here or chick or whatever you want I, it's a duck i guess so right in here we're just adding a little bit of that orange and if it gets to be too much okay because mine's really kind of come up. I just grabbed a little bit of cad yellow and I'm just blending it away that little harsh edge but it looks so cute on there you just need that little warmth of orange okay okay like this so it just sort of blends right away okay like this all right so there's our cute little duck and then we're also going to add, I'm, you know what, I, I'm still using the little 8th inch Lunar Blender. I'm grabbing a little bit of white and I'm going to add, okay, right in here. I'm going to add a little touch of white to my brush. So I've got yellow and white, okay, like that. And I'm just adding a cute little highlight on the back of our little duck, especially especially on the little tail okay so you're gonna pull towards the outside edge so it looks extra fluffy like so okay so right in here yellow a little bit of white uh, we've got some on his cute little head okay and this is just with that little eighth inch lunar blender I know it comes in so handy for these little guys okay so right in here Maybe a little bit on the wings. Okay, and then... But, for the majority, it's that cad yellow, which looks so cute. So bright and colorful. Okay, so... <laughs> Doesn't it, it... It has to make you smile. I don't know. It has to. Okay, so, and then we're just going to give the little beak um, and foot a coat of, that brush is too big. <laughs> we're going to take a little bit of uh, orange, okay? So we're going to take that bright orange and we're going to go over top to base coat the little beak, okay? And hopefully it doesn't need 42 coats. But probably two, okay, like this. And then the little foot, okay, so see how I left a little space in between the sections? Okay, so we're gonna go over top of actually the whole thing, okay? So I'm not gonna leave a little space. And then it almost looks like it's there's a little bit of shadow already, okay? So I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna base coat over top of that all, that whole little foot, okay? You can still see the black underneath, okay? Or I can. I don't know if you can on the camera, but um, I'm gonna let that dry for just sec a second. Okay. You can even use a little touch of that yellow and maybe a little touch of white, and give your bunny nose a tiny little bit of what a yellow highlight. So white and yellow. What da 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 da. Okay, looks so cute. Isn't that cute? I don't know if you can see that. Ugh. I don't know. But anyway. <laughs> okay, let's 
let's um, put in those little eyes. This is where you want a liner brush. Okay, with one hair in it, basically. Okay. <laughs> the 10 0 liner. Dun, da, da, da. Okay, that brush is the one for these little ducky um, eyes. Okay, so this is where you want just the teeniest little liner brush. Okay, get out your little magnifying glass and you're going to add that little line. Okay, so again, this is like a little smile line because he's sleeping. Okay, so right in here. Okay, yes, Crystal, you can watch this under, um, it actually will stay as a video on my Facebook page. And if you go to the top of my page, it'll say, there's a little tab called more, and then there'll be events underneath that. And then if you go to events, there'll be past events, and this will stay there so that you can watch it anytime. Okay, so there's the one little eye, and then we're going to pull some little eyelashes some tiny little eyelashes out this way like ugh, cute isn't it just like so sweet okay and I gotta pull this this way so that I can do the other eye sorry okay so I just did the little crescent shape sorry um, sometimes it's hard to do those little strokes at a different angle. Okay, so there's our other little, <laughs> a little duckling. Oh, look at how cute. Okay, so there's our cute little eyes. He is... sleeping away okay and then um, I'm gonna give one more little layer of color to the foot and the beak again with that really transparent orange I know this is such a transparent color but it's so cute I, I sometimes I put burnt orange underneath but then you know you get that kind of darker shadow that I just wanted them to be super bright so that's why I just used the the, um, that uh, bright orange. Okay, so <laughs> cute, right? Okay. Um, I'm just gonna add another little couple lines here and there. Maybe we can do this after the tulip is all finished. Okay, and then you know what? He has cheeks too. This little duckling has little cute little cheeks. Okay. So one little float, or you can dry brush it. Okay, I still have my, oh, I rinsed out my stippler. Okay, if you want to use your little stippler brush, and I know this is, <laughs> we're going to take that Tuscan red and a little bit of white, okay, like this. Okay, rub off, rub off the excess. Rub off the excess on a paper towel. So if you want to float it, you can, or if you want to just, you know, dry brush a little color. Okay, like this. So if you want to dry brush a little tiny color on the cheeks, okay, you can. Or if you want to float it, you can, you can do that too. So either way works. Okay, so um, let's go back. We've got our little ducky. We base coated it the, with uh, the Lunar Blender, just slip slaps of white. When that was dry, we went over with Cad Yellow added some bright orange, okay, and then we base coated the bright orange, little beak, and the um, foot, okay, and then we're going to add, we'll, you know what, we'll just let that dry for a minute, and then we'll come back, and we'll add a nice little highlight, okay, I'm going to do my tulip petals one more time, okay, so that was just with, again, you can take a little bit of Tuscan red, okay, like this, so you're just going to take that Tuscan red, I'm going to come close to my duck, right here like this and then <laughs> I know right <laughs> okay like that and then you're gonna tip into the white and just pull that in okay so just I sort of flick my brush into the 
that red. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect. Okay, and then again, like I said before, if you have a smaller little, if you have a smaller mop, okay, this is, this is my little, this is my little lunar blender mop, okay, or lunar mop it's called, I don't know, it's called a lunar mop, half inch, okay, that one works pretty nice for smaller areas where you want to blend the color, okay, or you can just sort of Go back and forth really lightly with your brush to help blend those two colors together. Okay, and again, um, I just dry brushed a little bit of white on after just to kind of help highlight that. Okay, but it looks so so much better with um, another layer of color, doesn't it? Okay, so the next petal done the same way we did before. Okay, like this. I know um, our duck is kind of in the way, but I'm going to work around them. Our little ducky. Okay, so just taking that red, I just do plain Tuscan red. And if you have a different way that you like to do tulips, definitely go ahead. You know, whatever, whatever makes you, whatever makes it easier for you. Okay, so and then I'm just taking that white and pulling in, just really lightly blending back and forth to blend those two colors together. Okay. So you could base coat the tulip and just float a highlight on, or you could dry brush. I, I actually dry brush a little highlight on here after as well. Okay, but doesn't it look pretty? Okay, same thing on the other petals. Just right in here, doing a little bit of red. Okay, and then I'm going to take a little touch of white and maybe some yellow because I slipped... <laughs> Okay, it's those, I don't know, sometimes it's like a happy accident, like Bob Ross says. You know, you dip into the wrong color and you're like, oh, well, that looks pretty good. Okay, so right in here, highlight along the edge of the petal. Okay, and then the same thing right in here, you're going to take a little bit of that red, like so. Right along the bottom of that petal, and then we're going to add a little highlight, okay, with white, okay, and just blending back and forth, so just like we did before. So I'm just strengthening the color. So just softly blending, the colors blend really nice because they're wet on wet, okay. And then one more little highlight on this petal here. Okay, so right here, almost finished. We just got a couple more things to do. I know this kind of went a little longer than I thought, but hopefully that's okay. <laughs> okay, so right in here, like that, doesn't it? Okay, and then we're gonna use those greens. We're gonna let that dry. So finally the greens. We're going to use mistletoe and a little bit of margarita. It's always fun to have a margarita, isn't it? <laughs> okay, we're going to take mistletoe green, one of my favorite greens, and margarita. If you don't have margarita, you can use like olive green or matcha or citron green, whatever you've got. As long as you have a nice highlight or sort of a, like a nice um, kind of you know, contrast between the two greens is what I'm trying to say. We just didn't want to come out. Okay, so um, we're going to use mistletoe, a little bit of margarita. You can see there's a nice contrast between those two colors. And usually what I do is I base coat with the shadow color again. And this is the tiniest little spot. Okay, so just right below the duck's foot is where that tulip stem ended up. Okay. So I didn't really mean it to be there, but <laughs> okay. So there's there's my the stem of the tulip. I wish it was bigger. It doesn't really show more, and I guess that's why I wanted to add it to the the glasses. So what I did was I just you can even take your round brush if you want, and or your little eighth inch lunar blender, and just really loosely base over the the Laguna like this just looks so fabulous with the Laguna underneath. They just complement each other so nicely. I love it. Love it. 
Ugh. So don't cover up all the Laguna. Leave a little bit peeking through here and there around the sides, okay? If you want. <laughs> of course, just, you know, whatever you, whatever you want to do is totally fine, but I just love it. I love the Laguna accent underneath. I don't know. So right in here. Okay, so right, just adding that mistletoe. Okay, and then on the center of the glasses. Okay, this is just mistletoe green. I'm using a large round brush and I'm allowing the paint to sort of skip. Um, so I'm not actually base coating. <laughs> totally over top of the Laguna. It's sort of skipping a little bit so that um, you can see that Laguna showing. Okay, so right in here. Like this. Love that color. All right. You can also use your little eighth inch lunar blender for this. So feel free. Um, like that. Okay, so right in here, cute little glasses. Again, they they look they look bigger than the other ones, but I think it's because we, we don't have our our margarita on yet. Okay, that'll change it a bit. But you can see little peaks of the Laguna in there, and it looks so cute. And if you wanted to add more lag Laguna, like if you covered up too much, just go back and add a little touch here and there. Um, it just looks so cute. I love those two colors together. They accent each other so nicely. Okay, so once once that's dry, you're just going to take your Lunar Blender and you're going to highlight with that margarita. Okay, so again, when you use your Lunar Blender, you can basically wet the brush first, tap off the excess water. Okay, so remember, no water. No water in your brush. Okay, um, you're going to take that little bit of citrus or margarita okay and you're gonna highlight so allow that paint color to skip okay like this mostly along the top edge of the glass the glasses okay so the frames you get it right <laughs> I'm trying to get the words out and dry brush at the same time so bear with me Okay, so right in here, just highlighting the rims of the glasses. Oh, I love the, the bright green. Doesn't it look cute? Okay, I think I'm gonna have to change the bloom to lettering to green because I just wanna have more green in here. Um, so on this one, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Okay, so right in here, just adding that margarita. We're not done yet, Kate. And stay tuned. There's more to come. <laughs> okay, so right in here, just using margarita. Kate, like so. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> I'm so glad. Because sometimes I don't, I'm sure I don't make sense. Okay, so right in here, just... Like this. Okay, so this is just the eighth inch lunar blender. I'm just slowly working around to highlight those glasses, the frames. Okay, so right a little bit on the edge here. And this actually isn't the last color. We're gonna do another color on top. So we're gonna use actually some margarita and a little bit of white. Okay, and it's just going to help tone the color a little bit. It's going to soften it and it looks so good. Oh, look how cute they are. Okay. <laughs> now, if they don't look really, really soft, you just need to add more color. Okay, so sometimes if it looks a little bit rough, um, just keep going. Okay. Just keep filling in. And it'll just, it'll come together. All right. Okay, so there we go. Coming together. So 
center of the glasses. Okay, and then we're going to use margarita and white, and we're gonna add one more highlight. Okay, so again, if you add too much of one color, you can always go back and add a little bit more of the other accents. Okay, but this is just with, put a little bit on the stem as well. I know it's a tiny little spot, but it still sort of brings it together. Okay, so then you're gonna use margarita and a little bit of white. Okay, so right in here, like this. Okay, so margarita, a little bit of white, blend back and forth, okay, and then you're going to add another little highlight, which is really going to bring it to life, okay, so this is white and margarita, like that, and again, I'm just kind of, you know, turn your piece however it's easiest to paint, okay, so I know I'm trying to, I'm trying to keep it upright for you to see, but um, sometimes it's tricky. Okay, so highlighting the tops of the glasses frames. This is just margarita and some white. Okay, still using that little eighth inch lunar blender. And I've even got it on the chisel of the brush, which means that I turned it on its side so that um, I get a little bit skinnier, skinnier highlight. Okay, and then even just even just a little touch of white on your brush. Add that final little, final little highlight. So, there's our cute glasses. <laughs> cute, cute. Okay, lots of layers, but you know, definitely worth it. You know, it's worth putting in that extra time to do those, those extra layers. Okay, and if you find that, you know, you went maybe a little bit overboard on some of the color, just go back and add a little back in. You can sort of play. So if you, you know, your all your loot, Laguna disappeared, just take a tiny little bit of Laguna and just dry brush a little color along the bottom of the rims. It look, it's really, it's really cute. Like it just, look, it works so well together. Okay, the Laguna and the, the lime green. So fun. All right, um, we are missing the, basically, we're missing a little highlight on the beak and the feet. Okay, so just take a little bit of yellow and you can dash a little highlight on the top of the beak like this. Just use a little touch of yellow is fine. Okay, even a little touch of white. Okay, so just with my little eighth inch lunar blender and then a little touch on the, on the feet, on the foot. Okay, just with a little touch of yellow, a little touch of white. Okay, like so. Just finishes them off. That's so cute. <laughs> you gotta tell him he's cute. All right. Okay. Now, um, and then of course the I'm gonna use my little quarter inch liner blender. Okay. And then we're going to use Tuscan red and a little bit of white. Okay, like so. <laughs> okay, and then we're just going to highlight. Mostly with white, I guess. White and a little touch of Tuscan red should be more like it. Okay, and we're going to add a little... I'm using the chisel of my brush, and I'm just adding those little lines in the ear pads. So it looks like... I wanted it to look like corduroy. I know. If, if you're not really too keen on it, no problem at all. Okay, I just thought it was... It would look cute with a little bit of color in there. Okay, so that's just with that okay, right in here. Thank you so much. Okay, and then another little few little dashes. This is just with the quarter inch lunar blender. Okay, on the chisel. Like this. Like so. Okay, I know. I, I tried a few different patterns. So, I ended up sticking with this one. Like I tried some little circles and I really like the, the lines the best. So you might, you might like circles. Definitely do what makes you happy. It's all good. Okay. And then you can even add a little highlight with just adding a little bit more white. Okay. So I don't know if you can see my palette, but 
Um, I'm just taking a little bit more white blend back and forth. Okay, so again, there's no water in my brush because I tap it all off, okay, on my paper towel. And then just kind of add a little accent. Just go over top with a lighter pink. Okay, like so. Awesome. Thank you so much, Elaine. <laughs> There's our cute little bunny, okay? And then you can also add a little highlight to your tulip petals if you want. Just dry brushing a little bit of white on here for a little accent, okay? Like so. And then a little touch more white still. Just adding that nice little highlight, okay? Sorry. Like this. Okay, and then maybe a little bit on the top of this little petal. But all right. <laughs> oh, thanks, Debbie. <laughs> okay. Right in here, uh, we're basically almost finished anyway. We've got that, we just sort of finished off that um, tulip right in here. Okay, I just basically kind of added a few little dry brush highlights with the white. Okay, you can add a few little strong ones here if you want, just to kind of bring them out. Okay, like that. And then um, you can even take a little touch of white and just add a little dry brush over top. This part was scary for me. <laughs> I really didn't know if I wanted to do this, but um, you can add a few little diagonals with white just to give you the kind of illusion that there might be some glass in there, but probably not. I don't know. Okay, so right in here, a little diagonal with some white. Okay. Okay, and then basically we just have the lettering. So a couple little tips with the lettering. Um, again, uh, what I usually do is I base coat with that, um, you know, your shadow color kind of. Like your base coat is usually the darkest, so this would be the dark pink. And what you want to do is you want to always start at the top of the letter and pull down towards yourself. So a lot of these letters take quite a few strokes, okay, to complete. So each one is pulling down. So I'd start in the middle of this one, pull down, and then continue on the other side, and then down again, okay? So this is with pink. Uh, I did like the dark pink, Tuscan red, and a little touch of white. And then basically just, you know, picked up a little bit of white, a little bit brighter white, and just added those little highlights, you know, pulling from the top of the letter, okay? So just to, to highlight, and you allow it to skip as you pull down, okay? I even added, added a couple little accents with um, some of the greens, but it's totally up to you. And then this lettering was just with um, your liner brush with, I use mistletoe and then margarita, okay? And then of course this cute little bee, um, <laughs> You can kind of do them however you want, but um, the little bees, you want to start with a little touch of white. I did this one a little different. It's got kind of a cute little face, but, um, and I did the faces with, with yellow just so that you could see them. Um, otherwise, they just don't show up. So I just did kind of like a little slip sloppy thing with white to base, okay? And then um, a little black, okay? A little, couple little right in here. Okay, you can do a little bee butt <laughs> with white. Okay, so right in there, like this. Okay, so just sort of base coat. And then I gave them little pom-pom um, antennas. I know, crazy, right? But, and then they even have like little feet, like this. So um, totally up to you <laughs> how you want to do it. But um, if you are looking for that adorable factor, then definitely <laughs> this, the, this is a bee for you. Okay, so, um, and then I just added, the wings I think were, uh, I don't even know, what did I do the wings with? Okay, the wash the wings with Laguna. Okay, so 
the wings for just, you can use a little bit of Laguna. So it's just, a uh, wash is when you add lots of water to your paint. Okay, and you do just a little, a little wash is like this. Okay, so you just take a little bit of color with that little bit of blue and you wash over top of the wings. Okay, like that. Okay, and then once, <laughs> once those dry, you're gonna outline, thank you. <laughs> So fun. Okay, so then you're just, once the white's dry, you just go over with the yellow and that's what makes him look like a bee. Okay, so right in here. Okay, of course, his little bee legs, which are like this. Okay, like so. And then the antennas, okay, like that, oops, wrong color, okay, <laughs> and then a little bit of yellow, and then of course you can add like, this is going to go into the happy, I think, it'll be cute, and that'll be so cute. Okay, so there's our yellow. Okay, and then you're going to add, um, of course, the little, I'm just going to paint the little black stripes in there anyway, even though they're kind of already in there, but it just sort of finishes it off. Okay. And then you just outline the little wings with white, like so. Okay, and I will, if, if you're interested in the lettering, just let me know. I'll see if I can trace this out as soon as I'm done and I'll mail it to you. Okay, so if you've, if you're, if you bought the regular or your, the previous pattern, I guess, I can send you the updated version. All right, okay, if that makes any sense. Okay, so there's our little bee and then of course he needs a face. So, and that's just with black, but okay, I think that's it. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Um, this bee's going to be a little different. And um, I really appreciate you. Thank you so much for coming today and for painting this little project with me. <laughs> There's the bee. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish off the lettering after, but basically those little tips are just use your round brush. Rest your hand as much as you can and always pull towards yourself, okay? But um, I'm going to try and read through all the comments again um, as, as much as I can, okay, and, and reply. But um, I hope that you had fun. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this little thing. I Again, I can't wait to put this little bucket out. Isn't it going to be cute with some tulips in it? <laughs> so, there's... <laughs> Almost looks like the little ears, isn't it? So this little, again, this little bucket, I'll I'll finish off the lettering and then I'll post a picture of it. And um, again, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for following my page and for liking my posts and commenting. I appreciate every, I appreciate you all so much. So I hope you have a great week and I hope you had a happy Easter and um, yeah, we'll see you again soon. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.